Here we are now in Excel and the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to install or we're going to turn on the solver add-in. Solver is an Excel add-in and there's a link in your workbook if it's not available from where to download it and it's direct from the Microsoft website. So once it's installed in your computer we need to turn it on so we go to file, options, go to add-ins and when you're in add-ins go to manage Excel add-ins and select go. You can then select the solver add-in and select OK. Once you add in the solver add-in you will see on your data ribbon solver appears up here. So let's have a look at our table. So we've maple chairs and mahogany chairs, rough carpentry finished work, assembly price revenue and then we need to figure out the finished working hours and the rough working hours. So let's just show the formulas on this we can see first of all that the revenue is made up of the assembly multiplied by the price. The finished working hours is going to be made up of the finished working hours multiplied by the number of units assembled and the rough working hours is, uh, is going to be made up of the rough carpentry hours by the number of units assembled. You will also see that we have D3 plus D4 to give us the total assembled items and we also want the total assembled revenue. Let's just unshow the formulas. We also have our constraints down here in our table down here. And don't forget that the total rough hours can only be 80, the total finished hours can only be 30 and the mahogany supply can only be 10. So let's do solver. So we'll pick solver. And the first thing it's asking us to do is to set objective. Our objective cell is our revenue, our total revenue cell. It's our combined revenue of maple chairs and mahogany chairs. Because we want to find the maximum revenue we can get with our constraints. So that's the cell that is our objective cell. And it includes the formula. The formula is adding both these revenues together. And we want to maximize this. Now it's saying by changing the variables of which cells. So we want to change the variables of the cells assembled. So we want to select cell D3. I'm going to press control and separately select cell D4 and you'll see there that there is a comma separating the two cells selected. Be very careful that you don't select an array here. The next thing it says is subject to the constraints and what we want to do is we want to set up our constraints. So we'll hit add and it gives us this dialog box add constraint. So the first constraint that we have is our mahogany chairs cell D4 which is the amount of mahogany chairs that we can assemble has to be less than or equal to our constraint of 10 and we select add and that's added that into our constraints and given us the option for a second constraint. Our second constraint is going to be our finished work hours in cell G3. And this has to be less than or equal to our finished work hours in our constraint. And we can select add. Next, it's looking for our rough work hours. And our rough work hours is going to be restricted by our rough work hours constraint, which is 80. And select OK. There are three constraints are now added to our subject to the constraints in our solve parameter. Now we're ready to actually solve this. So let's hit the solve button. And when we hit the solve button, we get this solver re results dialog box. And it says, keep solver solutions or restore original values. We could do both. We'll just keep solver solutions for the moment and we will select OK. And you see when we do this, our finished working hours will be 30. Our rough working hours will be 70. We will have assembled 20 products, 10 of the maple chair, 10 of the mahogany chair. And our revenue, our maximum revenue under these constraints will be 17 and a half thousand. Now let's go back to our solver and in our solver we can also if we hit solve again 
we have the we have the option to run a number of reports you'll see over here reports if we select answer and select OK what this will do is this will set up a new worksheet called answer report and it will give you details about what has actually happened behind the scenes in Excel so it gives you the details of the worksheet and, and the solution that it's found and the constraints and conditions that are satisfied it tells you the objective cell so the objective cell is cell C5 and its revenue it also tells our variable cells and these are the number of chairs that we wanted to be assembled and this is going to vary depending on the constraints in order to maximize profit and then it gives you details of the constraints now you'll have a status and you have slack status if you have binding it means all of that constraint has been used if you have not binding it means there are units left over slack is the number of units actually left over let's jump back here now to our solver page and we can go back to solver and we can hit solve we can click restore original values so this will bring these back to zero and we'll also bring these back to zero and select OK so that is using solver and don't forget what solver does that the solvers basic purpose is to find a solution that satisfies all of the constraints and maximizes or minimizes the objective cell value I hope you enjoyed this tutorial goodbye now